Hey, what's going on everyone? In today's video, I'm gonna do a quick little walkthrough of my new water setup for my SUV camper, as well as show you how you can do this yourself. And I'll also be comparing it to my previous setup so you can see why I prefer this much more. Before we continue, I just wanna shout out SUV RV and the camping element. Watching their videos gave me a basic idea of what I wanted with my build. Uh, they both have great channels, and you should definitely check them out. Okay, so first I'll show you how it works. At the top of the faucet, there are two buttons. The one on the left is just a power button, which will just dispense water. And the one on the right is actually a 600 milliliter button, which will dispense that amount once you press it. Uh, for this demonstration, I'll just press the power button, just so you can see what it looks like when it dispenses water. Okay, so starting off with the build, um, I bought this Reliance 6 gallon, 23 liter water jug at my local Walmart for around like 18 bucks after tax. For the pump, I got it off Amazon. Here's the box it came in and some information about it on the back. It comes with the faucet itself, the water tube, and the micro USB charging cable. Here are the buttons that I was talking about earlier. It's the power button and that 600 milliliter button. So this jug came with a twist cap, a cover for the cap, and a spout. To make sure that the faucet would fit the water jug, I actually took a Dremel and I grinded uh, these two notches that were on the side here. Um, and doing so you'll find is actually a really good fit for this specific uh, faucet. So then to assemble it all, I usually put the spout first and then I put the twist cap on, following the hose in the faucet. And it will just pop onto the top, just like that. Now you have running water. So when the faucet sits on the cap, it's it's pretty sturdy and um you know it's it's not gonna go anywhere while you're getting water but if you wanted to also fasten it down uh maybe because you're putting it in a car or you know you just don't want it to move uh what you can do is you can use a small bungee cord just like this with two hooks and the way that i fasten it down is i'll start at the top of the faucet and then connect these two hooks um past the handle just like this and that does a really good job in holding the faucet down. And you know, as you can see, I'm shaking it. This thing is not gonna go anywhere. So when I'm done using the water, I'll unhook the bungee, just like that. I'll take the hose off in the faucet and I'll put it into its own Ziploc bag so that it can stay clean. Um, and then using the cover that was provided with the jug, I'll take off the cap, put the cover on, and then screw it all together. And this will do a good job in making sure that your water doesn't spill or leak, or um, that any dirt or dust gets into your water. Now that you've seen my new setup, I wanna show you what I was using before. And it's actually this Reliance Aquatainer water jug that can hold up to 26 liters or seven gallons of water. And you know, this thing is awesome. Uh, seven gallons of water that's that'll last anyone a while um, there's just a few things about this container that i didn't like as much one being the size um, you could see it's this like pretty big square shape um, and just in my car it took up a lot of space another thing i didn't like is the uh, when you store it there's actually a hole in the cap there where the spout is and i would find that dust and dirt would get in there pretty frequently and i would have to clean it out so that was pretty annoying. Um, and like, the, like I said, the biggest thing for me is just the size and shape. When you compare it to the six gallon jug, um, this is a lot thinner and narrow and taller compared to this, it takes up a lot more space. There is a trade-off, you know, of me picking this. Um, I do lose a gallon of capacity, but I think the trade-off is worth it considering that this can pretty much stay upright the entire time. I would just put my faucet here, dispense my water that way, 
I could put this in my trunk. I could put this behind the driver's seat, um, in the front passenger seat. Just because of how narrow it is, it can pretty much fit anywhere in my car. Um, so I, I think it's worth it. Um, so that's it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.